Thailand. There is only one spot remaining to represent this region, and it goes to Thailand. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Well, here's your question. I hear that while preparing for Miss Universe, you were taught to do something called a duck walk. Uh, what is it, and does it involve any quacking? <laughs> no, it doesn't involve any quacking. But what it is is, as an athlete, I needed to learn how to do more hip swings so that I can improve my catwalk. And so what it is is you are on high heels, I'm gonna kind of mini demonstrate here. And then you go down and you pop your hips one way and the other. So on the, so the reason why it's called a duck walk is because if you walk like that, it kind of resembles looking at a duck like wagging its tail, its butt. So, but no, you don't need to, to quack when you walk. In, in America, that has nothing to do with a duck at all. <laughs> nothing. Thank you, Thailand. Thailand. just an ordinary person who believes that ordinary people can do extraordinary things when they believe in themselves, have courage to take that first step, and to never give up in the face of adversity. I'm standing here today because I followed my heart and dared to live my dreams. Thank you. Two spots left in the finals. One goes to Thailand. As a kid, I had a little nickname. Um, I was a little doctor because I loved helping other people. After I won Miss Universe Thailand, that's when I realized that, hey, there's actually a different path, a different way that I can help other people. I am able to help flood victims or to the We Are One, my art project. It gave me an opportunity to help people on a larger scale. Just seeing them happy, just seeing them like give me back a smile, that for me is my reward. Thailand. Thailand. I feel powerful when I know that my journey is able to help inspire and motivate as well as encourage other people to take care of their body and to feel happy being healthy. My dress portrays how I am, playful, but at the same time it has one of my favorite colors, which is red, and I really love red because it signifies the color of love. Also, still in the competition. I believe that every country has their own uh, government policy to keep us safe and I believe that it shouldn't cross the line of going into our privacy because we have a right to privacy. But. Security is also very important, so I believe that in order to live in a better society, we should also have the government look into a line, a middle ground, as to where they can come and live together with society.